Hello and welcome to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. I'm Joan Walker. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a drama story about the staff and passengers of a budget airline. In today's programme, we're going to hear the third episode of our story, Birdsong. Last time we heard that Captain Obler was on his way to West Beach for a meeting with a businesswoman called Sophia Eden Howe. As Ken Jay drove the captain there in his taxi, he told him what he knew about her. Sophia Eden Howe? Yes. Do you know her? Well, I've never actually met her, but、uh, she's quite formidable, I'm told. You certainly don't want to get on the wrong side of her. Oh, and she has excellent connections. She knows all the top people in Freeport. So, why does she want to see me? I have no idea, Captain. But be careful. People like her know how to get what they want. Oh, don't worry, Kenji. I'll be fine. Anyway, Captain, here we are, West Beach. Thank you, Kenji. So, according to Kenji, Sophia Eden Howe is a formidable person, someone who makes you respect or even fear her. And in today's program, we're going to find out how the captain deals with her as they walk along West Beach together. Sophia begins by telling him that what she has to say is top secret. What I have to say to you is in strictest confidence. I must ask you to keep this to yourself. The captain promises her secret is safe with him. I won't breathe a word to anyone. Sophia then has some surprising news for the captain. She tells him. Next week, we are going to announce the biggest construction project that Freeport has ever seen. A construction project means a plan to build something. And my first question is, what exactly is Sophia planning to build? When she's explained her idea, she says. I see you're impressed, Captain. And how does the captain respond to that? Shortly after that, she criticizes the captain, saying, "You're too sentimental, Captain." And if you're sentimental, you are too influenced by your feelings, your emotions. Sophia says to the captain, "When you look at West Beach, you see golden sands." And what does she see when she looks at West Beach? Let's listen and find out. Ah, you must be Captain Obla. I'm Sophia Eden Howe. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Captain. I've heard a great deal about you. Really? Well, I must say I'm intrigued. I've no idea why you want to meet me, and why here? Why West Beach? Shall we walk a bit? Of course. Now, Captain, what I have to say to you is in strictest confidence.、Oh. I must ask you to keep this to yourself. I won't breathe a word to anyone. I promise. Thank you, Captain. You see, next week. We are going to announce the biggest construction project that Freeport has ever seen. Right here, where we're standing, will be the site of Freeport Sunshine City. Freeport Sunshine City. A five-star luxury hotel, Captain, with 300 bedrooms, four restaurants, six bars, meeting rooms, a conference center. There'll be two swimming pools, one there and one there, and we'll have six tennis courts just across the road over there. No. I see you're impressed, Captain. But it will ruin West Beach. Oh, come on, Captain! It's in nobody's interests to ruin West Beach. If we spoil the beach, the tourists won't come, will they? No, I suppose not. But just wait until you see the plans. This is going to be a stunning hotel, and our architects have done everything they can to make sure that the environmental impact of this project is kept. To an absolute minimum, at one with the sun, at one with nature. That's our slogan. <laughs> Whatever you say, you're still going to build a huge hotel in the middle of one of the world's most beautiful beaches. Oh, you're too sentimental, Captain. You see golden sands. I see a golden opportunity. Freeport needs jobs, Captain. Freeport needs money. Freeport needs tourists. Well, yes, I, I agree with that. So, what is Sophia planning to build on the beach? She says, "Right here, where we're standing, will be the site of Freeport Sunshine City." And what is Freeport Sunshine City? A five-star luxury hotel with 300 bedrooms, four restaurants, six bars, meeting rooms. 
and a conference centre. And when she tells the captain that she can see he's impressed, how does he reply? He says, "But it will ruin West Beach." And if you ruin something, you destroy its value or its beauty. But Sophia doesn't agree with the captain. She says, "It's in nobody's interests to ruin West Beach. If we spoil the beach, the tourists won't come, will they?" And the word "spoil" has the same meaning as ruin. But the captain is not convinced, and so Sophia accuses him of being sentimental. She tells him, "You see golden sands. I see a golden opportunity." You're listening to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. At the start of the next part of the scene, Sophia explains why she thinks Sunshine City is a golden opportunity for Freeport. This project will transform Freeport into a top tourist destination. Transform means change, and a tourist destination is a place where lots of people go on holiday. The captain is obviously becoming interested in her idea and says to her. I still don't understand what your plans have got to do with me. Sophia replies, "We want to send out a clear message." But what message does she want to send? And she goes on, "We'd like to offer Obla Air the chance to be." And how does she complete the sentence? And one more question for you, Sophia says, "I'll ask you a small favor." What favor does she ask of the captain? Here's the second part of the scene. Oh, you're too sentimental, Captain. You see golden sands. I see a golden opportunity. Freeport needs jobs, Captain. Freeport needs money. Freeport needs tourists. Well, yes, I, I agree with that. Of course you do. I mean, when was the last time you had a full play? Oh, it was. Well, quite a few weeks ago, actually. There you are, and this project will transform Freeport into a top tourist destination. Think what that would mean for the city.、Oh, yes, it would be marvelous. But Sophia, I still don't understand what your plans have got to do with me. Why are you telling me all this, Captain? There is always opposition to a project like this. Some people may not understand what we are trying to achieve here. So. We want to send out a clear message that this project is good for Freeport, that it means local jobs for local people. We want to show that we are working with local companies for the benefit of everyone. I see. And so? So, we'd like to offer Obla Air the chance to be Freeport Sunshine City's partner airline.、Huh. Partner airline. Think about it. No more empty seats. You could be running two, maybe three flights a day, every day of the week, every week of the year. Are you interested, Captain?、Uh, well, yes, of course I'm interested. But... Then I'll ask you for a small favor. Our biggest investor will be coming out for a press conference to launch the project next week. Marshall McHendry is called, and we'd like to fly him here on Obla Air. It sends the right message, you see. Yes, yes, of course. He's an extremely wealthy man, and he can be, what shall I say, demanding. But it's vital that you create a good impression.、Oh, don't worry about that, Sophia. At Obla Air, we know how to look after people. The customer is king. That's what we say. Excellent. Well, I'll put all the details in an email to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another appointment. And remember what I said: not a word to anyone. There's always opposition to these projects, but you can't stand in the way of progress, Captain. So, what message does Sophia want to send? She says, "We want to send out a clear message that this project is good for Freeport, that it means local jobs for local people. We want to show that we are working with local companies for the benefit of everyone." And what does she offer the captain? She says, "We'd like to offer Obla Air the chance to be Freeport Sunshine City's partner airline." 
The captain is interested in the idea, and so she asks him for a small favour. Our biggest investor will be coming out for a press conference to launch the project next week. By the way, an investor is someone who provides money for a project or a business in the hope of making a profit. Sophia continues. And we'd like him to fly here on Obla Air. And she adds, he's an extremely wealthy man, and he can be, what shall I say, demanding. But it's vital that you create a good impression. This person is wealthy. He's got lots of money. And he's demanding. He expects a lot from other people, and he has very high standards. But the captain is confident that he can make a good impression. He says, At Obler Air, we know how to look after people. The customer is king. That's what we say. And we'll find out what sort of impression the captain makes a little later in the series. This is Obler Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. And don't forget that you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. That's learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. But now let's revise some of the language we've met in today's programme. What was the phrase for a plan to build something? Construction project. A construction project. We heard two words which mean to destroy the value or the beauty of something. Ruin. To ruin. And? Spoil. To spoil. What's the adjective that describes someone who is too influenced by their feelings? Sentimental. Sentimental. What's another word for to change? Transform. To transform. And what do you call someone who provides money for a business in the hope of making a profit? Investor. An investor. Now here's a chance to hear a part of today's drama again. Ah, you must be Captain Obla. I'm Sophia Eden Howe. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Captain. I've heard a great deal about you. Really? Well, I must say I'm intrigued. I've no idea why you want to meet me and why here? Why West Beach? Shall we walk a bit? Of course. Now, Captain, what I have to say to you is in strictest confidence. Hmm. I must ask you to keep this to yourself. I won't breathe a word to anyone, I promise. Thank you, Captain. You see, next week we are going to announce the biggest construction project that Freeport has ever seen. Right here. Where we're standing will be the site of Freeport Sunshine City. Freeport Sunshine City? A five-star luxury hotel, Captain, with 300 bedrooms, four restaurants, six bars, meeting rooms, a conference centre. There'll be two swimming pools, one there and one there, and we'll have six tennis courts just across the road over there. No. I see you're impressed, Captain. But it will ruin West Beach. Oh, come on, Captain. It's in nobody's interests to ruin West Beach. If we spoil the beach, the tourists won't come, will they? No, I suppose not, but... Just wait until you see the plans. This is going to be a stunning hotel, and our architects have done everything they can to make sure that the environmental impact of this project is kept to an absolute minimum. At one with the sun... At one with nature, that's our slogan. <laughs> Whatever you say, you're still going to build a huge hotel in the middle of one of the world's most beautiful beaches. Oh, you're too sentimental, Captain. But that's all for today. You've been listening to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series, brought to you by the British Council. And remember, you can find more resources to help you learn English at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from David Evans and me, Joan Walker. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.